Now, welcome back to the channel, where let's have a little fun with a video, huh? Let's talk about we some figures. We don't have fun here. What are you talking about? I know. This channel <laughs> was supposed to be all about, like, fun, and I feel like every video I make so is complaining about, complaining about Hasbro and the way they manage things. But let's have some fun, because I do love collecting Star Wars. I do love the Black Series, even if Hasbro is not the best caretaker of it. <laughs> and uh, what we want to talk about, what we want to do is we're going to go through... Not in this video, but we will eventually go through all the different movies, all the different properties of Star Wars, and what figures would we like to see? And we're going to start, we're going to start kind of, we're going to do it kind of chronologically, I suppose. We'll start with episode one. And if you are a Black Series collector, you know there's not too many prequel figures out there in general. No. I mean, it's not as bad as what has happened to the sequels, where they just completely kind of ignore they exist. Not that everybody complains about that, but... Episode 1 has eight figures, and on your screen now, it should be my collection. I have all of them, our. except for the Obi... <laughs> our collection? My hey, bad. I bought that Darth Maul. I know, you were the, that Darth Maul started it all right there. And who bought? Who picked that out? Me. That was you. I me. told you not to do it. I told you once you picked one, I would want them all, and here we are, a whole room de dedicated to Black Series. Oh, my And other me. Star Wars stuff. <laughs> anyway... So yes, there are eight Black Series figures. Now, I am missing, we are missing, mm -hmm. my bad, we are missing the Obi-Wan. That's his fault. I don't know why that is. I figured... He was in charge of ordering yeah, all the new Yeah, well, ones. we were starting to unpack everything, so we're learning that I guess I didn't pre-order that one and have it packaged away for display eventually. See, that's why in the emails I have a little folder, so when I pre-order hey, a figure, it goes in this folder called Star Wars Figures, I have my so Star that I can Wars look list. at them and go, there we go. I have my pre-order list, when I ordered it, where I ordered it from, all of that, but... Somehow Obi-Wan has slipped through my fingertips. But anyway, shall we get to the list? We're going to do a top 10 for this, counting down from 10. And mm -hmm. there's probably going to be some figures or some you know characters on there like, eh, that should have made the list and we'll probably agree with you. But this is our top 10 that we jointly agreed upon. Yeah, definitely. The, the ones I think that most fans would want to see the most. Yeah, we're going to do, we're going to be a little creative with a couple of them. We're not, I mean, right. these are things Hasbro would probably never actually do, but we're kind of, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, because it would be something the fans really wanted, so it's probably things Hasbro wouldn't actually do with some of them, but we can propose the idea, and this is make-believe, so we can mm -hmm. go with it anyway. Anyway, number 10, Boss Nass. I don't know, granted, not the not the biggest, best, well, maybe one of the bigger characters, but mm -hmm. not the best character, but I just love the design. I, I like, I, I remember the episode one figure. I thought it was really cool before I ever saw the movie. I'm like, this guy right. looks cool. He's, he's interesting looking. Yeah, so I definitely think he deserves it. We've also talked about one of the ones we almost put on the list as like an army builder for the Gungans, if that's your thing, because we do like army building. So it didn't right. make our list, but, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing more Gungans. I don't hate the Gungans. I don't hate Jar Jar. I don't, you know... <laughs> I know some Plus, people you need do. an army of them to fight the battle droids from episode one. Exactly. Exactly. Now, see, you've taken all these years, but you've figured it out. All, don't even start. I'm the one who made Trooper <laughs> you, Protocol, so. You did, actually. That was your idea. All right, let's move on. Number nine, Captain Panaka. Panaka. Yay. I mean. Why like, not, I guess? <laughs> <Is that your laughs> he's a, You know, he's a character. He's got a big, pretty big role in the films. Disappears in episode two, of course, when he is replaced by a different character, but. Yeah, I guess there's not much to say, only that figure, he just feels like a character that deserves a figure, I guess. Yeah, I can get behind that. I'm... All right, number eight, Sebulba with Pod Racer. And this is where we get a little, probably... We'd call it a deluxe figure. An extra deluxe figure. I mean, but in all reality, the Pod Racers are not that much plastic. They might look big, yeah, but, but they're they two engines it... and a pod, so... But they called the Stormtrooper pack a deluxe, and it was just like... Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was a, just well, one Boba, speeder bike. Boba Fett is deluxe. With nothing, so, with so. nothing extra, yeah. And then we were in the store today. And you see something. You see something like the the new Masters of the Universe line, and there's literally like two figures and a bunch of extra accessories, and it's like cheaper than the Boba Fett. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, let's Ugh. not. Let's. This is, this is a fun video. This is. Fun. <laughs> I gotta stop. All right. Let's move on to number seven, Newt Gunray. I mean, it would just, be cool to have an alien that we don't already have. What do you he's, mean? he's a new species. Nemorian, yeah. Yeah, for the shelves. Yeah. So he would look different than everything else. True. And he was an important character. He was. He's and he does appear throughout the trilogy too. He's not just an episode one figure. He is in two and three. Gets sliced up by so Anakin he could in three. Be all. He could yeah. Be all the list. These are yeah. We're kind of you know first appearances <laughs> here is kind of how we play it you know because. I mean, even looking at the episode one figures we have, like you know, Plo Koon is uh, you know counted as an episode one figure. He's he kind of appears in episode one. 
I think Does you just really put have... it with episode one because you needed to put somebody in there. Well, yeah, I mean, technically these are first <laughs> appearances, so there he is. There he is. But yeah, Nuke Unray, I think, is a given. He has to be in the top ten. He's a pretty important character. Absolutely. Yeah, throughout the trilogy, as I said. So let's move on to number six. Let's go Watto with a Pitroid. Absolutely. Now, Pitroid, not a new character. Well, not that they're characters. Not new but anymore because, yeah, because it came does... in the uh, Batu pack. Yeah, droid the, pack. the droid pack. Yeah, which the was Disney a Disney Parks. score. Yeah, or Disney yeah. Parks or Disney Store exclusive, which we just got the other day. And it looks nice. We haven't opened it yet or anything. But No, but the Pitroid, nice. And you Pitroid, can get them yeah. folded down to almost, almost, almost replicate that squat position they get into. It's, it's very nice droid. Yeah, Probably so. my favorite in the pack. So throw in an extra pit droid, and we also thought, well, you know, why can't we have, like, pit droid two packs for, like, $20 or $22 or whatever they're going to charge these Yeah, days. give me a pit droid pack. Yeah, it's another one. I mean, they're not really, quote-unquote, army builders, but you can always you can always have more pit droids on the shelf. Or at least give us characters that come with a pit droid so you can collect them naturally. Like, yeah. you put one with Watto, and then for, for fun, let's just say... Let's in the Mandalorian, say, they made that lady from the machine shop and put pit droid with her, too. Yeah. That would be a fun... I mean, you, I think she has or, three of them. Or, I would say yeah. make it a deluxe. Like a $30, you get her and her three pit droids. I can't think of her name right now. Let us move on now to number five. Uh, Padme in the attack on the palace look is what we called it. I think there's a more simpler name it could be yeah. given. But the look she has when she, you know, they're kind of retaking... Yeah. The palace on Naboo in episode one there. I think that's a fun look, and it gets to come with the gun accessory that they love to give every figure. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think that's one of her more class. I mean, she's got a couple different looks that She's got at least. Of, I mean, she's got, like, what, five in that episode alone, if yeah. I'm... <laughs> Overall, right. you could probably make 20 to 30. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah, I, th- I don't think anybody could match Padme in terms of number of figures you could potentially make. Oh, yeah. Especially it's, if you include her Clone Wars outfits. Oh, my goodness, Yeah. Yeah. That's frightening. I went there. You did. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Number four, Senator Palpatine. Come on. He's got to be in we there. We don't have a Senator We don't Palpatine. have a prequel Palpatine we at all. We don't have an, you know, Chancellor Palpatine. We don't no, have... <laughs> we don't have a, a Darth Sidious. I mean, we have, obviously, Emperor Palpatine. That is Darth Sidious. But, of course, we don't have a, a Sidious from... We don't have a Palpatine at all from the prequels. No. And that, I think, is really um, a shame. Yeah, I think we should have a Palpatine yeah, from the prequels. How do you not the have prequels? the main villain of the prequels in the, in a figure form yet? He is the Phantom Menace. Yes, and yet <laughs> he, he yes he is the he is the name of the line. And now he's you know, barely a toys. phantom on our shelf. Yeah, jeez, good point. <laughs> All right, number three, Droidicot, destroyer Droidica. droid. I, you know, maybe that's higher than some people would rate it, but. it's it's going to be a cool looking figure when they eventually oh. make it. It was one of the coolest looking designs from probably the whole prequels. Well, and they Everybody could do loves so many cool droid. things with it. I mean, they could give you some sort of. Ex- I, I would be okay if they went to like a uh, deluxe figure on it. If they could make it so you could roll into the roll ball. Yeah. Maybe well, give it some to. gunfire effect. Maybe give it a shield effect. Ooh. You know, it could come with like a, like a that, yeah. clearish, you know, piece that you can just set over the top of the darn thing to represent yeah. it. You know, to look similar to its shield. Where the little guns can stick out, so I can still fire. I like where you're going. Really with that. cool. That's a good idea. You know the <laughs> Hasbro would never around. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Hasbro would never ever do that. I mean, they'll do it as cheaply as they can when they hopefully eventually make this figure. Someday. Someday. It's just it's another one of those that I'm surprised hasn't been made yet. I mean, there's a couple prequel figures that seem, you know, obvious. Obvious, and we don't have and. I'm going to go to another one that I'm kind of surprised we don't have because we don't we have one Padme prequel character that's error figure mm-hmm. which is the episode two uh, arena basically basically look but at number two Queen Amidala in her red royal dress yeah uh, Queen Amidala Queen Amidala. and the iconic dress that when you say Queen Amidala that is what you see yeah that's what you imagine another one that feels like how is this and it's probably a difficult figure to make because that is a heck of a dress and how do you get articulation into that thing but she would probably just have arm into arm articulation and head yeah the dress would probably most likely be solid plastic so that you could yeah i mean she's gonna be like a traffic cone i mean she's just gonna just pop Ooh, her but they could but do still. the fur in like soft goods well they could they could I mean, dress they, up they could, pieces of it for sure they could do something fun with it absolutely mm-hmm. but i mean it's another one of those i'm like how is that not made yet well and then to kind of go with that one that didn't quite make our list was I wanted an army building of handmaidens. Yeah, that would be cool. You know, it's one basic figure. It comes with three heads. One of them include being Padme's head. 
Yeah. So you could make two other handmaidens and a Padme. You just buy three of them. There you go. And then, yeah, you're buying... That, that's a, such a win-win for Hasbro, because you know people are going to buy three of the At same least, figure, yeah. essentially. Yeah. If not more. If not more. But anyway, let's move on to number, number one. one. You probably can figure out who it is. Who could it be? Young Anakin. What? But we want young Anakin with Podracer. We we're want greedy. a deluxe young Anakin. Deluxe young I mean, Deluxe, Pod yeah. Racer. Probably at least a $50 type figure. I want him to come with his helmet. Helmet, yeah, all the accessories. Oh, yeah. Probably throw a pit droid in there, too. I even Why want not? a nice stand, because obviously you'll need a stand to hold the Pod Racer up. And I want some effects that make it look like it's firing out of the back, like the like it's actually on, or maybe a smoke effect I can put from where the engines is broken. See, I want it all. Now you're asking way too much. <laughs> well, Anakin's a small figure, and you said pod racers were smaller. They're not. They're not. I mean, when you really think about the amount of plastic involved, it's not that much. I mean, it, like I said, it's a pod and two engines, and even Anakin's is much smaller than Sebulba's, so I don't <laughs> think it would be. I, I think that one's more realistic than Sebulba to ever imagine getting. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could, I. I'm ass I'm eventually I'm assuming eventually we will get a young Anakin episode one figure and if they just put him in a package it's gonna be maybe he'll come with bare bones three PO that wouldn't be a bad idea that's not a bad idea you no know, either young Anakin with a bare bones three PO or give me Anakin with a pod racer yeah <laughs> we'll put Anakin in with Watto <laughs> so, sorry uh, I'm laughing I mean, at the mere thought that's not a bad idea what but... would you call the pack. Jeez. Let's not go there. I'm not going there. The comment section, you can go there, but I'm not going there. What would there. you call the Watto Anakin <laughs> 2 pack? Yes. Gambling with your life. <laughs> that's that's I, a good I, one. It's a good one that doesn't that, that we could get away with, that Disney could get away kind with. Kind of, yes. Disney could get away with that one. Yes. Because it doesn't say the, the word they're afraid of. The, yes, the word that shall not be named ever again. That maybe ever. was used to be the name of a ship of a famous character. Anyway, that's our list. Um, tell us what you think of it. Tell us what your list would be. What figures do you want to see from episode one? Yeah. Do you think they would? Do you think we would ever see something like a, a pod racer? Would would they go that far? There seems to be. I don't want to say an aversion to the prequel characters, but certainly not as much love as the original trilogy has seen. Mm -hmm. But who knows? Maybe they will. Either way, that's all we got for you this time. That's it. So take to the comments below. Tell us what characters you'd like to see. Give us your name for the Watto Anakin 2-pack. And tell us what you think of our list. And until next time, thanks for watching.